Charles. I wanted to pose a different question to you regarding perimeter. What happens when you have a curved line in a shape? So I was really curious about this answer, so I decided to do an experiment with my daughter today. We looked at these two shapes, shape X and shape Y. Shape X is really an oval shape, while Y looks more like a potato. And we wanted to use string to measure the perimeter because they're not straight edges for us to use um, a ruler. So we did an experiment. We grabbed some yarn, scissor, and a ruler and began, began to explore to figure out the question about which figure has a longer perimeter. I took a piece of string and we went around the shape and cut it to fit the distance around the shape, shape X. Then we took the string and we straightened it out against the ruler and realized it's about seven and a half inches. My daughter said, well, I want to measure in centimeters. So we flipped the ruler and we measured the same string and it measured 19 centimeters long. We then took that string and wrapped it around shape Y to find the distance around that shape. And my daughter right away said, wait a minute, it doesn't fit around shape Y. So right at that moment, we concluded that shape Y must be um, longer, the distance around that shape must be longer, which means that the perimeter is longer in shape Y than shape X. Now, if there's a second part to this, my daughter was even more curious, so she said, I'm curious to find out what is that missing distance on that shape. So she grabbed the string and she continued to go around the shape and she realized the missing string to complete the distance around the shape is about two inches. We then also measured the same string and noticed it was about a little over four inches, four centimeters. There's the string. So in conclusion, we have the ac actual measurements for both shapes. For shape X, it was seven and a half inches long, or 19 centimeters long. And for shape Y, it was nine and a half inches long, or 23 centimeters long. So that's how we had fun today to find out that shape Y has a longer perimeter. What I would like for you to do today is to print out this workbook page, page 171, and I want you to first notice what the directions say. It says measure the perimeter in centimeters of each of the following figures. So right now, you really don't have the choice to do inches or centimeters because the directions want it in centimeters. I also, the sec second thing I want you to notice are the different shapes. I want you to figure out which shapes have straight lines and which ones have curved lines. And as you can see, A and E both have curved lines. So you will need string for A and E. You will need to measure the string and also measure the straight sides with your ruler in centimeters. Have fun. I hope you are excited to learn that you still can measure shapes with curved lines with the help of a string and measure in that. Good luck finding the perimeter of all the shapes.